Our friend that developed R. A. when he was 12, recommended that we read two books that he found very helpful. The young lady that wrote this book had another form of arthritis, but it had progressed to the point of her being in a wheelchair. She had gone to medical school, but had dropped out before her illness. Luckily she still had many friends still in the field of medicine. With some of their help she researched everything she could find about the disease. Through this research she developed a diet that had dramatic. The basis for this diet is that many people have food sensitivities that cause inflammation or other reactions to their body. Food sensitivities are not the same as food allergies. We have all heard the stories of people who are allergic to peanuts and eat something containing them and immediately start having a severe allergic reaction. Food sensitivities, on the other hand, can take several hours to several days to manifest themselves. Most doctors know how to diagnose and treat food allergies, but haven't been trained to diagnose and treat food sensitivities. I want you to know this is not about bashing doctors. You might want to share this information with your personal physician if they are open to new research and ideas. There are three main differences between food allergies and food sensitivities. Food allergies, as mentioned above, usually have an immediate reaction, usually severe, and sometimes even life-threatening. Food sensitivities can take hours, or even days before they become noticeable. Food allergies can be diagnosed with the familiar skin protests that people get to discover what triggers their allergic reaction. This test is not reliable for food sensitivities. Food allergies usually show high levels of IgE antibodies class in a blood test. This is not the case with food sensitivities. Your doctor will be familiar with this test. But how do we know which foods cause these reactions in our body? Charles is writing this series of articles on RA to hopefully give you a way to stop the awful pain of this disease. All of the books mentioned in these articles are available from Amazon if you cannot find them in your local bookstore. The first book was Conquering Arthritis, What Doctors Don't Tell You Because They Don't Know by Barbara Allen.